Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to solve a rational equation um, using cross multiplication. You can only use cross multiplication if you have one rational expression equal to another rational expression. Um, if you have addition or subtraction of fractions on either side, then you would use um, multiplying by the lowest common denominator to get rid of your denominators. In this case, technically, when you're cross multiplying, you really are just multiplying both sides by the lowest common denominator. It's just that the work is done for you by just cross multiplying. So what we want to do when I say cross multiply, I'm going to take the numerator of this side and multiply it by the denominator of the opposite side. So I'm going to take negative four times x plus six. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm going to take the numerator of this side and multiply it by the denominator of the opposite side. So I'm going to take the negative 3 and multiply it by x plus 4. This step right here, you could skip showing the work. It's just that I wanted to make sure that you understood what I was doing. Um, we would use the distributive property to multiply the negative 4 into both, both of the expressions. So I would have negative 4x and then negative 4 times positive 6 gives me negative 24. On the other side, we would do the same thing. We would distribute the negative 3, and I end up with negative 3x minus 12. So now we have a simple linear equation where we have variables on both sides. So what we want to do is we want to make it to where the variable is just on the one side. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the negative 4x just because it's my smaller x term, so I'm going to add 4x to both sides. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I add the 4x to the 3x, that just gives me a positive 1x, so x would be completely by itself. For the negative 12, I want to bring it to the opposite side since I have all of the x terms on the right. I want to make the non-x terms on the left, so I'm going to add 12 to both sides. I showed my work. You can skip the step of showing the work, but a lot of times, especially when you have opposite signs, I see a lot of mistakes made by not showing the work. Um, by lining this up, we can see that we have one negative and one positive. And so since they're opposite, remember we subtract. So 24 minus 12 is 12. And then keep the sign of the larger. So since the negative is larger, we would end up with x equals negative 12. So this appears to be our solution. Remember with rational expressions that you always have to check because it is possible when we plug it back in that it will not work. Um, so with this, we would plug in the negative 12 for x. And we can see that when we simplify this, um, remember that it's undefined if your denominator equals 0. So if I would have ended up with negative 4 or negative 6 as my answer, we would have had um, an undefined solution. Or when we plug it back in, it's undefined. So we would put no solution. But in this case, negative 12 does not give us 0 in the denominator. Um, so we would just simplify each fraction. The negative 12 plus 4 gives us negative 8. The negative 12 plus 6 gives us negative 6. And then both of this reduce to the same thing. Negative 4 over 8 reduces to 1 half. And negative 3 over 6 also reduces to 1 half. So since those are equivalent expressions, we know that x equals negative 12 is our answer. As always, thank you for watching. Please continue to check out all of my other videos. And if you have any suggestions for topics or things that you need help with, please let me know.